Labor Day has come and gone. The days are getting shorter and the weather slowly growing cooler. And as we head into fall and then winter, there are concerns about what the colder temperatures will mean for the battle against the coronavirus. That concern, especially acute due to the number of children now becoming infected. Reed Binion reports. This particular variant has has attacked uh, the adults at a faster rate. It's attacked our student population at a faster rate. Educators and health officials alike sounding the alarm over the surge in coronavirus cases among children. More than 250,000 child cases were reported for the week ending September 2nd. That's more than a quarter of the total number of cases reported over that period. We've got to get the school system masked in addition to surrounding the children with, va with vaccinated people. This comes as the nation hits a grim milestone, the U.S. surpassing 40 million total coronavirus infections, with 10% of those cases reported in just the last four weeks. And medical experts warn we could be on the verge of an even more intense spike in cases, following heavy travel and large gatherings over the holiday weekend. We are having to prepare ourselves for having yet again another surge after the Labor Day holiday. This amid concerns about the ability of hospitals to keep up. According to Department of Health and Human Services data, eight states had more than 90 percent of their adult ICU beds occupied as of Sunday. With cases and hospitalizations already on the rise, President Joe Biden is set to address the nation Thursday about the next phase of his pandemic response. I'm Reed Binion reporting.